Hello friends. Welcome to C Sharp Intermediate to Advanced tutorial. Now you are watching the final part of project settings sub series. In this video, we will see how to debug a DLL. We know that in this series we used two project. One is sample math, that's a DLL class library project. Other one is math user. It's an EXE project. So we already saw this uh, in the previous part of the videos. So in the previous videos, uh, we created a DLL called So a yeah, DLL is a dynamically linked library. So definitely it will have some code attached to it. Usually it will export classes and functions or even global uh, uh, functions and classes. So let's assume it has some code. So there may be variety of exe say for example so this math user dot exe is created by us and it consumes sample math dot dll both the application will have its implementation and they both load the dll let's assume like that both these exe so these exes are developed by a uh, different user let's say let's say these exes are developed by different users one is vendor one exe and one is our own exe since both the exes are consuming the dll at one time it loads the dll and will have the dll code in it now to debug the exe there are two condition one is both dll and math user is a grouped under a solution so we already saw this how to keep both the project under a single solution in the previous part of the video we saw it so in that case we won't have any issue in debugging the code we can put a breakpoint and once you run the math user dot exe and when there is a breakpoint in the consuming DLL, since the code is available under a single solution, so the solution contains code for both. So you won't see any trouble in invoking the uh, debugger at uh, DLL. But here, if you see, let's say the vendor code is not with us, we have only the exe, uh, there's some third party vendor. Let us call this as v1.exe third party vendor and they are using the DLL developed by us and they face some issue. So they will they won't give you the source code. So in that case, how do you debug and check? Um, so in that case, how do we debug and check where the error is? So that's what we are going to see. What we will do, we let's uh, state that since sample math the dll is developed by us we have source code for sample math dot dll but we do not have source code for vendor one dot exe but we have the exe uh, in hand but we don't have the source code let's say the vendor provided a uh, setup file and you installed that in your system so you ultimately have v1 dot exe like how other users are, I mean, end users are using the vendor1.exe. Same way you will have v1.exe in your hand as part of the, as part of the vendor one's deployment program. Now you can make use of this exe and debug the DLL to make sure uh, where the error is. So since uh, sample math is owned by us and vendor one exe is developed with some third party 
what we have to do we have to go to the debug first we have to go to the debug tab then in the debug tab under start action you can see uh, an option for a start external program so you can use this start external program radio button and then uh, you can browse to the exe vendor one.exe so once you select that you will, you will be seeing v1.exe with a path here and if they have any command line argument say for example let's say there are some command line switch a1 a2 1 2 so these command line switches you can pass here as part of command line argument so that's all we have to do so without having the source code for exe you can directly launch the dll so here as part of debug if you see a dll cannot launch on its own it needs some uh, consumer so when this exe loads into memory it will uh, load your dll and uh, there is a host for your DLL. So that host only we are specifying here, start external program. So if it is the very first case, if you own both uh, the source code, I mean the DLL source code, as well as the EXE source code, you may not have any trouble. Why? Because your solution will contain source code for one, that means EXE, and source code for the dynamically linked project so you can simply put a breakpoint and when you uh, do the reproduction step it will hit the breakpoint but in this case you have the dll but you don't have the source code so you can still debug so what you have to do you have to load the uh, dll project in your uh, ide visual studio 2005 or uh, later version then under the debug you can specify your the external program that means here in this case we are mimicking v1 as the third party vendor program and if there is any command line argument you can pass that and you can start debugging it that means once you execute the dll see here we are executing the dll so when you execute the dll it will launch the exe v1.exe and if there is any command line parameter that will also get passed here after that uh, you you will be seeing the vendors exe but uh, let's say that their reproduction step states that you specify you pick something in the combo box and we are getting error from your dll so you have to go to the same reproduction step then uh, when you have a breakpoint for this event it will get hit all right now let's go ahead and uh, mimic this stuff with our uh, mathuser.exe and sample math.dll and we will assume that mathuser.exe is a third party just for demo purpose then we will debug sample math.dll now it's a demo time here our sample math is uh, opened and if I build this table solution uh, it will produce the DLL in the temp1 sample math dot DLL so that means in a temp1 we should have the third party exe let's assume that this math user is the third party exe so it's already there in temp1 but if you want to have it in a different folder let's create temp3 so you have to make sure where the uh, dll is delivered so if it is temp3 then you have to change your build path to say that this is our third party exe the Let's assume that this is the deployment directory. Once you install their application, it goes to uh, C program files, uh, uh, some ABC folder, then matrixer.exe. Let's assume that the installation folder is temp3. So we know that this exe will uh, consume the DLL. So and that DLL is developed by us. Let's assume that. that. Now we go to properties. The first thing is a build. 
and it is delivering it to the temp1 folder. Now I am changing it to the third party folder. Temp3, open, save, rebuild this. Now the DLL also delivered to temp3, and you can see this one is important. So this is a sample method or PDB, this is program debug database. You can see that in the Puntic program debug database. So this is useful to debug the DLL at runtime. And math user is the consuming unit. So let me copy this. And if you see here, we don't have the source code for math user. Now I'm going to debug start external program. I'm choosing G, term 3, and math user.exe. I don't have any command line parameter, so if a map the user is accepting some command line parameter, we can specify that here as part of this command line argument. Now I'm saving this. So now I can run this DLL here. Before that, let's go to the test map and we will put a breakpoint here at uh, add two numbers. We know that map user is uh, calling this add two numbers. Now I am running it. And you can see it loaded the output window. You can see that the map user symbols loader. Okay, it's not yet loaded our DLL, but when we click, it will load it. First, we uh, will give two number 31 and 6, get result. And if you see, loaded temp3 sample map that DLL. So, which one loaded it? Our math user.exe loaded sample map that DLL. We don't have source code for a math user.exe. It can be any uh, third party vendor. Exe. can be any third party vendor exe here we are mimicking math user as the vendor exe and we don't have source code for it we just have source code for the dll but just by using the math user exe and its uh, uh, location so both are in the same location math user exe and the sample math.dll we loaded the exe then we click the add number button we know that add number will invoke uh, add to numbers function now once we click that button we are seeing mathuser.exe loaded the sample math.dll comma symbols loader symbols loader from this is sample math.pdb file that's all. Now the breakpoint is hit. Now you can easily debug it. And let me go to auto window. And you can see N1 is 31. That's what a user given in the text box. Then another one is 6. After that, we are summing up these two and returning the value. If there is any error, you will find what is their input condition, how the error is uh, induced by the DLL. Now you got an idea of uh, how to debug a DLL without uh, having the source code for the EXE. This technique is really useful when your DLL is consumed by some third party vendor. A vendor may implement, uh, I mean they may consume the DLL, your DLL and they can provide different kind of implementation making use of your exposed functions.
all right uh, that's all here in this video and this ends our sub series also so we will start a new sub series next until then bye from us thank you